What is going on guys? Let's uh, continue our journey on this data science thing and it's pretty exciting, right? So we just saw what is NumPy um, and we also realized it was like really a really cool math computational library that could actually do a whole lot of stuff and now here we are trying to understand pandas. Welcome. Have you heard this song? Panda, 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 panda. <laughs> it's like really good song. I, I don't know who's the artist but it's a it's a really good song okay so uh, so here's what we have to do import pandas as PD all right <clears throat> this video is going to be a very quick introduction to uh, panda and I'm also going to allude to really quickly uh, a topic of panda called as series so let's uh, look at what the series thing is okay so pandas by the way is basically a, a um, a really good library from Python, uh, for Python actually, um, to uh, to basically do a lot of, well, Pandas is an open source BSD license library providing high performance, easy to use data structures and data analysis tools for Python programming language. That's, that's their official definition, but <coughs> Python, has really gotten its power because uh, I should say pandas has really given Python a really like you know do you do you even count the number of times I've used really in this in this video <laughs> that's ludicrous okay uh, I mean really does not have any value anymore <laughs> so so the whole point is Python uh, the, this pandas library is uh, really shit this pandas library is 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 an efficient library to actually do a whole lot of uh, well excel computation you know looking through excel um, there is a i mean you know it is it is it's such a powerful library that can actually enable you to do csv manipulation excel manipulation you know uh, kind of you know also try to plot the graphs and if you are going to be a data scientist you have to absolutely use pandas at least uh, at least during 2017 as far as i know you know hoping that pandas keeps evolving and there's no other library that kind of comes to uh, fight with pandas and takes over the market anyway so uh, let's continue i want to give you really a quick introduction to series in pandas okay what this is is you know what let's I'm kind of it's it's twelve thirty in the morning, and I've been listening to songs from Martin Garrix, and uh, I have these songs running in my mind. So let's uh, write down some songs in the name of love. In the name of love. Have you heard the song? And if you like a good, uh, if you like, do you like trance? If you guys like trance, I'm sure you know Martin Garrix, and I love that guy. Okay, so in the name of love is one song. Let's uh, look at Tiesto. Uh, somebody scream. Tiesto and John Christian. That's a good one too. Uh, Dash Berlin. Is it uh, uh, Dash Berlin? Let's let's think about Dash Berlin song. I like. I'm not able to even think of one song. Come on, Dash Berlin. Quickly. Yeah. Come on. Let's. Till the sky falls down, yeah. Never cry again. Okay, let's take that. Okay, and I also know <coughs> um, Armin van Buren's Armin van Buren's uh, famous song, which is "In and Out of Love." You guys must be thinking, what kind of weirdo this guy is? He's always trying to talk about trans because because you know I love those songs and here I am trying to uh, you know sort of promote those songs to you guys too <laughs> okay so let's uh, get back and I'm also going to say artists name of artists um, and the name of who is in the name of love it is Martin Garrick Martin Garrix I'm going to say MG okay uh, till the sky falls down well, Scream is Tiesto. I'm going to say T-I-E-S-T-O. Okay. And then I'm going to also say Sky Falls Down is Dash Berlin DB. And In and Out of Love is Armin Van Buren AV. I think that's it. 
Okay, so we here we have songs and artists. Let's try to uh, create a, a, a dictionary again. And I'm going to say <coughs> song artists. Okay, I'm going to say song arts and let's let's keep it going. Martin Garrix. In the name of love. Okay. Next we have I know we could probably use we could definitely use Python's built in method to build this dictionary. Um, you know, but that's not the whole intent, so I'm trying to make this thing hard code it manually. Otherwise we could for sure create a dictionary from these two values directly using Python methods. Okay, and the last one, here we go. Armin Van Buren, A, V. In and out of love. Okay, great. So here we have three things essentially. We have songs, that's a list. Here we have artists, that is again a list. And also we have a dictionary that's basically um, just, just the the artist name and and a corresponding song so what I'm going to introduce to you right now is pandas series so I'm going to say pd dot pandas dot series and um, so here's the thing we'll understand what a series object is pretty quickly but it is a data structure that pandas uses like this pandas library extensively uses series so we have to be able to generate a series based on whatever data we have at this point. So data is none, right? It takes in data, index, data type, name, and all these crazy parameters. But at this point, we are going to focus on only these two, data and index. So what is data? Data is going to be the songs, right? And I'm going to also say, well, at this point, you know what? I'm going to just run this. Notice data, it it created like a very good, uh, you know, like sort of rows and columns where rows um, have the name, you know, it, it contains the, the, the name of the song while actually it also contains index. Now, for instance, if I just say index zero, all it's going to do is it's going to say in the name of love. Don't you think it's pretty interesting? And if I say index one, it's going to say the second thing, which was scream. And if I get try to run this again, <coughs> oh, that's that's kind of cool, right? So I'm going to say series with uh, numbers, or let's say series with numbers. And uh, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here and see we have series number, right? And for the last uh, for the last time, I'm also going to say series number three. What do you expect in, in and out of love, right? Well, run this dude. Yeah, so here we have in and out of love. So the whole point about the series thing, it's like, it's like a data structure that kind of has an index and a corresponding value. So that is something that you have to understand. And if you don't, if you don't explicitly say what is the index, then pandas automatically assigns numbers based on the total number of objects for data available. So what do I mean? Uh, let's, let's kind of continue exploring. Uh, I'm going to say series underscore art okay this time what i'm going to say is i'm going to say pd dot series it means all this means is hey generate a series object okay what are the parameters so the first parameter we we already saw it takes in like two parameters that that we care about and we're not going to care about the remaining uh data type name copy fast path no we are only going to care about data and index so kind of like you know we'll pass in those two arguments at this point um, data is going to be obviously songs, right? And I'm also going to this time say index. Hey, the index is going to be artists. Now I'm going to say 
S-C-R-A-R-T, so it prints out the output. You see the difference? See series num while series uh, art. You know, series num is just numbers as index, and series art is, is basically having artists as its index. Now, what is interesting is, I'm going to say series art, and I'm going to say MG. What do you expect? And if you guys said, hey, it's supposed to say in the name of Lao, absolutely you're right. Now again, let's do it again and see A, B. Tell me a song from Marmon Van Buren. Okay. In and out of love. Wow. Do you see, don't you see like these two songs have almost, who stole the name? Is it Martin Garrix or Armin Van Buren? I don't know. But I hope, uh, well, forget it. <laughs> We're way off the topic. Okay. So series art is, you know, Martin Garrix. Well, series art of Martin Garrix is in the name of love. Series art of Armin Van Buren is in and out of love. Again, like if we try to kind of, you know, say series art of DB, which is Dash Berlin song, till the sky falls down. So now you might ask me, hey, what if we pass in zero? It still works. Can you guys tell me why? Like if you, if you thought <coughs> it internally maintains an index, probably that should be it. Okay, so we, we, we see that, you know, you can actually access uh, the elements either with index defined or numerical index. That's, that's perfectly fine. But, you know, when you already have like a, 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 a string index, why do you want to use a numerical index? I mean, yeah, it's people's preference. People do, people do good stuff, crazy stuff. Someone like me does all crazy stuff. I'm just kidding. Okay, so that is the basic introduction to uh, Panda series. We will continue this uh, topic on pandas in the next upcoming video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And we'll, you know what? I also wanted to talk about this one thing. Uh, you know, it was like the climax, and then I'm kind of calling you guys back. Dang it. Okay, series art dot values. If I do something like this, it's going to throw us out and a an array of all the entries in the series, series art. Basically, this this is this is the index, and this, these are all the values. Okay, so if I say series art with index, it's going to throw out an array that basically is again going to just have all the indices, indices. Okay, and and if I just say series are dot values, it's going to throw out all the uh, values. Um, I hope this thing makes sense to you guys. And with this being said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share. And keep, keep just staying tuned because I am going to just throw even more videos of, uh, well, trans music again.